Hello everyone. Today we will look at running the Android things on the Intel Edison with the Arduino breakout board. In July 2015, Google I/O, Google announced Project Bralio to bring Android OS to embedded system, which is often powered on a microcontroller unit. Now. Android OS provides a set of APIs that allows us to perform low-level functions such as manipulating the GPIO ports. Note that this is not a full-fledged Android OS that you typically run on your mobile phone, but it is a good start. This is good news especially for Android developers who are new to hardware but would like to quickly get started. Let us have a look. This is the official website of the Android Things. Click on Get the Developer Preview, and we are redirected to a site to set up the SDK. Android Things currently support three particular boards, which is the Intel Edison, the NXP Pico, as well as the Raspberry Pi 3. Let's click on the Intel Edison. We are redirected to the page to set up the Intel Edison. In the first part, we have to install the fast boot bootloader. In the second part, we have to flash the Android thing. And in the last part, we can connect to the Wi-Fi as well as run our code. Now, let us get started. Download the latest preview image. I'll pick the Intel Edison. Accept the terms and conditions and start the downloading. If you have not yet installed Android Studio, please do so. And when we launch the Android Studio, under Configure, go to the SDK Manager. Under the Android SDK, click on the SDK Tools and scroll down to Android SDK Platform Tools. Here, we need at least version 25.0.3. If you are using an older version, please make sure that you updated it. Otherwise, we will definitely fail during the flashing. Okay, now let us make sure that our fastboot binary is installed. Open the terminal and use the command wish fastboot. And we can see that it is linked correctly. If you want to double check, you can also get the version. Do the same for the ADB. Then Download and install the Intel Platform Flash to Lite. This allows us to flash the fast boot loader into the Intel Edison. Go to Browse. Choose the Flash Edison.json, the file that we have downloaded just now. Configuration, leave it at non OS. And now what we will need to do is to connect our Intel Edison. Well, do not connect immediately. First of all, ensure that the switch here is pointed towards the micro USB. Then click on the button here, the second button, and connect the USB. Our Intel Edison tool sh should be recognized and we can start the flashing. Once the flashing is done, let's close it and open the terminal. We can list the devices still in passport. And now, let us slash the Android things. Go to the correct directory.
Now let's check if the device is still in fast boot mode. If the device is still in fast boot mode, then we will need to reboot the device. So let's reboot the device. We will not connect to the Wi-Fi because we do not need it for our blinking LED sample project. Let's download the sample project. We will be redirected to a GitHub repo and we can download it as a zip file here. Open the Android Studio and let us import the project. Here we have three sample sub projects. We will try the blinking LED. Ensure that the blink is chosen here and click the run. Choose your device. And you can see that the state is toggling from true to false. Now we need to connect your Intel Edison with the LED. This is the schematic. A simple LED with a resistor connected to GPIO 13 as well as the ground. And you should see that the LED is now blinking. Thank you for watching and if you have any suggestion or issue, please feel free to comment below.